Hey everybody, Digital Dungeon Master here, and welcome to my third miniature painting video. That's right, I'm already up to video number three. So I've done a little bit more improvements on the way that I'm painting. Uh, in the second video, I started using uh, different brushes. I started separating my water. In this video, you'll also see that I got a little paint palette. Instead of dumping the paints on the, the napkin, you know, a couple of people had uh, stated in the comments section that does dry out the, uh, the paints. Uh, so I've actually got a couple of little pallets. I actually got a 10 pack for I think it was five bucks at Hobby Lobby, my new favorite place. Guys, if you're single, great place to go meet women. I'm telling you, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm the only guy in Hobby Lobby every time I go. Well, actually, the last time I went uh, earlier today, uh, yeah, there was a couple other gentlemen in there. They were buying flowers and stuff. So, and, and in fact, I bought a, a really tall, like four foot tall, fake grass uh, plant in a pot. It, it was awesome. It was only, it was on clearance for like eight dollars. So I'm like, all right, I'll buy that. And then I bought some more paint brushes, and I got uh, those. Uh, 10 disposable color palettes. But I'm not throwing them away, man. They're plastic. They can be washed. So you'll notice that uh, I'm using those. I'm keeping my water separated. In this video, I am painting three different doors. And you know what? I'm going to say that these are probably the best miniatures that I've painted so far. The dry brushing looks excellent because I'm using those cheap brushes that are three for two bucks. And I'm not, I don't care about mashing down on them to get the paint out, but everything turned out so good. Uh, I used a, uh, a uniform gray for the uh, stone arcways and I used a leather brown for the door and I just lightly did it uh, lightly painted and the uh, I primered them black and the primer you can see in all of the cracks uh, I didn't use too much paint that filled in all of the cracks like I did with the barrels uh, and uh, the the door on my my second paint the big double door that I did Man, these doors actually turned out really well. I'm happy about that. Uh, at the end of the video, this is going to be time-lapsed as well. So it, it'll take this multi-hour video, cut it down to about seven minutes or so, eight minutes. And at the end, I'll have all the miniatures spinning on my nice little uh, rotating table that I have zoomed in and you can see the detail. But uh, I'm really happy with the way these uh, miniatures turned out. I even use like a, a slime green that I really, really dried out on the brush and then I just kind of scraped it on the, the edges of the door frame. So it gives the, the doors like, the, like a moldy look uh, on the stone. It really looks good. Man, I'm, I'm really excited the way they turned out. And uh, I actually didn't butcher them. So happy about it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys think as well. Check out all of my other videos on my YouTube channel. 4,000 plus videos, guys. Follow me on Twitter, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google+, Plus, my new Google+, Plus community, uh, and Instagram. I'm going to be doing some miniature giveaways, uh, and I'm going to paint whatever you want. So when you guys follow those, leave comments. Uh, you'll know when the contest begins, and you'll be able to get multiple entries on all of the different uh, social media outlets. So thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you next time.